technology. Well, this is the first thing I think that you need to really take a look at when it comes to change. There's been some good technology out in the world, I guess, now for about 10 years. Um, they basically, what's out on the market today is basically the same business model that's been in place for the last 100 years, I guess. Um, there's, you know, we just have more reporting and stuff like that, but we're really not changing how our businesses are ran. And, and to, to actually make you understand how awful we run our businesses, even though you may have the best business around and your customers love you, let's just kind of dive into this, what is really a good customer service and a good business. And so first and foremost, a customer is, a, is used to what our industry is offering it. And that is, especially during the summer or when you're really, really busy, is we're very terrible at arriving when we're supposed to. Very terrible at overbooking calls um, when we are busy, and we're very terrible of staying busy when we don't have enough calls. And we consider this the norm. And to me, the norm is the past. I like changing and making things better. Um, I don't believe in overbooking during the summer and running my technicians 24 seven until they just can't function anymore. I believe in having the best potential calls to do with the right amount of people and the right amount of calls per day and give that service because my business is growing so fast and my businesses on Sarah are growing faster because we are being better about how many calls we book and not booking more than we can do. Because when we book more than we can do, we give terrible service to everyone. If we slow down a little bit and focus on getting the best calls to the best people and delay calling the lesser calls and, and start understanding, you know, how many calls a guy can functionally, you know, run where there is the greatest return on investment. That's the things we need to be focusing on in our change is a guy running through calls because you're giving him six, seven, eight calls all summer and he's got to run till 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the morning every day? Or is he more, if he gets some rest, gets time to sleep and runs three or four calls, quality calls and being refreshed, are you going to make more money that way? Well, I built Billy Go as a beta test company for Sarah. And so I test all of these theories out. And Billy Go literally closes at four o'clock every day, even in the summer. We don't run 24 seven. We have an on-call guy to take care of any emergencies that pop up from our customer base or whatever. But literally we give our technicians their last call a day at around four o'clock and that is the last one they get. Um, and we are able to grow our business 50%, 50, almost 50% this year when a lot of companies are flat or down, we're up 50%. And when my competitors are struggling and laying off, just literally three miles from here, one of the largest companies in, the, in Dallas, Fort Worth is laid off, uh, you know, many, many people in the last couple of weeks. And here we are um, controlling how many calls we get, arriving on time 90% of the time, and then one hour window, by the way, and we're growing. And the reason is, is com customers really want to do business with someone that makes it easy for them to do business with. And if we're constantly overbooking all summer long, if you're an HVAC company, um, if you're constantly overbooking, you're giving bad service, no matter what you think. I know you're doing everything you can to get to these customers as best you can, but that's at the end of the day, it doesn't separate you from the pack. And this is what we're proving at Billy Go is that you can literally run less calls, get higher tickets, get a higher customer satisfaction, get customers to give, actually give you five-star reviews. I think we have four or 5,000 in four years. We didn't even exist four years ago. We have over 30,000 customers in four years. And it's all because we just give better service than everybody else in, in our area. And we're giving this better service because we're, we're using the technology the way it's meant to be used at Sarah. And by doing this, we're just growing exponentially. And um, we're just, and our customers that are on Sarah are seeing this as well when they adapt this one hour appointment um, and, and 
using the what Sarah teaches them about what's important, you know, priority call versus non-priority calls, members versus non-members. These are the things that matter. And people want to come work here. That's why we're full. Um, we have plenty of employees. We don't have to hire any others. We're not desperate for more. We're controlling our spend. Uh, we can control um, our revenues because we are very aware of what we want to accomplish, which is to give the customer an experience that no one else can give them. And we're using technology to do that.